Hi, my name is Adam. I am the Systems Administrator at Batch Blue Software, and today I'd like to talk to you about creating web forms. Let's start at the List and Reports tab. A web form is simply another type of list. Click on Add Web Form, give it a name, call it Newsletter Sign Up with Updates from Batch Blue. I'd like to tag any new entries on this form with the tag of newsletter. I'll hit save. And here we are at the web form page. Since it's an email newsletter sign up, one of the first things I'm going to want to do is to add the contact information. And all I really need is the email. So I'll hit save there. Grab the web form address and open it up in a new tab. And here we go, a very, very simple web form. Great, I'll go back to the list, reload it, and you can see here my pending submission. I can hover over it to get a preview of the data that was entered on the form. You can also view web form submissions right on your dashboard using the web form submissions widget. This one shows that I have one pending submission for my newsletter sign up. I'm going to import myself. And now I've successfully been imported as a contact in the batch book. You can do much more with web forms. They're highly customizable using your super tags. I've created one called Musicians. Let's take a look at that. You can see here the fields that I've added for that tag are instruments played, number of years, availability, and influences. So let's create a new form for band auditions. I'm going to tag this list with audition. By default, this form isn't very useful. I'll go back to the list and edit the fields. I'd like to get the email address and a phone number for any potential members. Now I'll go over to the musician super tag and toggle all the information. You can also change the landing page that a visitor heads to after they fill out your form. I'm just going to change it to Pure Volume, which is a site for emerging musicians. And I'm going to change the notification options so that I receive an email whenever someone fills out my form. If I go back to my form and hit Reload, that looks a lot better. I'll fill that out. And I play keyboard and triangle for five years. I am available for weekend gigs. And I've got some pretty broad influences. Hit submit, you can see that it's taking me right to the pure volume page. Let's go back to the list. There's my pending submission. And this hover shows everything I just entered. I'll import that submission. Take a look at the contact record. And everything looks good. Let's go back to that list and click on View Report. 
Now there's only one entry in here right now, but this can be really useful when you get a lot of submissions. That's all there is to creating web forms with Batchbook. Hope you enjoyed it.